Hello everyone. In this episode, I want to show you how you can convert Genesis 3 and Genesis 2 characters to the new Genesis 9 figure. So the figure shapes, not the textures. That's kind of a separate thing. We might deal with that in the future. This is a follow-up video of the one that I've just released about how to convert Genesis 8 and 8.1 figures to Genesis 9. There were a couple of things that I've learned since then and a couple of tips from you and also a couple of things where you guys had issues. So I thought I'm going to address those here. This here is Keiko. This was a Genesis 2 character, Keiko, that is now on Genesis 9. Hello, Keiko. How are you doing? And it looks kind of creepy when you dial her in. So this is the morph dialed in. And this is actually the Genesis, the base morph here. So it's kind of cool when you dial that in. Uh, it does all work. So it's kind of funky how all of these things uh, work. And there's one particular thing that we're going to deal with in a follow-up video to this one, and that is the eye. So some of you probably need to adjust the mouth and the eyes. And since they're now separate geometries look at that the eyes actually change with the figure so i'm going to address how to do this in an upcoming video for now let's go and convert that let's start with a brand new scene and start by importing our genesis 9 and the genesis 2 figure so i'm going to search for starter essentials the process is identical for 3 and 2 2 is a little bit more Difficult, so I'm going to show you that. I'm going to load the dev load character for now on Genesis 9. That's going to be our fit suit figure. So basically, just like in the previous tutorial, I'm going to go and also load, because I'm going to convert a Genesis 2 character, I'm going to load the Genesis 2 base figure. But if you were to convert a male character, you'd use this one here. So that one comes in as well. And much like before, the first thing we're going to do on the Genesis 9 figure is that we're going to go and dial up the Genesis 2 fit clone. So to turn that into a fit suit. To do that, head over to the parameters tab and then make sure that on the hamburger icon up here, we're going to go and change the preferences to show hidden properties. And that's going to bring up that menu with the clones here under hidden. We're going to go and open that. And under hidden, you find clones. And they're very difficult to see Genesis 2 female. That's the one we're going to dial up. And that will do that. So it snaps right into place when it comes to the upper body and the head and even the feet. But what isn't snapping into place is the A pose versus the T pose. And some of you have tried to convert the A pose from Genesis 9 into a T pose so that it matches the Genesis 2 donor figure, but that is not a smart idea. We're going to do it the other way around because that's just a much, much easier fix. And here's how to do that. So select the Genesis 2 figure, and then we're going to go and select the, not the collar, but the left shoulder here. And under rotation, under general rotation, we're going to change the bend so that it goes into minus 45 degrees. That's the shoulder setup, minus 45 degrees. If you're converting a Genesis 3 characters, then that is all you need to do. You don't need to worry about the forearms or the hand. That is only something that you need to do on Genesis 2 figure. So on Genesis 3, this should now line up. But here with Genesis 2, we have one extra step to do. So that's under the left forearm that needs to also be bent, namely back by 13. And then you can see that the forearm is absolutely in place now. And now we also need to change the hand and that needs to snap into place to 11. And then we're absolutely slap bang in the middle. So if your polygons kind of weirdly protrude like this, then you have the exact value. So that there's a bit of Z fighting going on there. If you didn't, so if your hand kind of looks like this, then you haven't got the correct value. So if you have tried this yourself, you might have a different joint lined up incorrectly. In this case, and we're going to have to do this on the other side as well. So the shoulder, just to repeat the process here on the other side, and this is on the Genesis 2 figure. On on the right shoulder, it's going to be the opposite way around. There's going to be bent. It's going to be 45 instead of minus 45. And then on the right forearm, we have minus 13. And on the right hand, we have 11. Well, it's actually minus 11, sorry. <laughs> and that lines up the donor figure with the Genesis 9 A-Pause perfectly.
Now this is a good start. Let's go and export our Genesis 9 figure. First of all, we're going to go and change them to base. So on the parameters tab, high resolution, switch that to base resolution. And then under file export, let's go and make that a new directory here. Perhaps we're going to call that one obj's 6. I have made many, many tests here. So six is the one we're going to use. And this one I'm going to call Genesis 9 G2 Base Fit. I'm going to use essentially the Dash Studio preset here. And all I'll do is I'll click this filter objects here and choose select roots. That is all I'll do. Hit accept. And that's us essentially done with Genesis 9. I'm going to go delete them out. Now let's go and import our OBJ in again so that we can create that fit suit again. Let's do that. Here we go. Same thing. All I'm going to do is select the Dash Studio preset on the top. And here we go. Same figure now ready for the fit suit mechanism. Now, before I run the transfer utility, let me go and make Genesis 9 invisible here and select Genesis 2 and show you the kind of problem that would happen if we were to run the transfer utility. The adjustments we've made have added numbers into these fields here in the rotational fields that deviate from zero. So if you run the transfer utility, it'll kind of assume these values need to be reset to zero and then you know things go horribly wrong so we need to make sure the figure stays in this position but all these types of values that we've adjusted need to be set to zero so let's do that with the joint editor tool selected you can see all these bones right click and then choose edit bake joint rotations when you do that all these values will be reset and the figure will retain its shape let's do that so edit bake joint rotations click yes and boom no matter which bone was selected they've all been set to zero now that's perfect. So now we can run the transfer utility and make that figure visible again. It doesn't really matter. Right click on the scene tab under assets. You see the transfer utility and we're going to select Genesis 2 female as the donor figure and as the target our G9 G2 base fit. The only other adjustment I'm going to make is that I don't want to parent this to the figure. So I'm going to go and hit accept. And that is our fit suit in action. Now I'm going to go and make Genesis 2 invisible, but I'm still going to have it selected and dial in the morph that I want to create here. So once again, under actor, people, I can pick something that I like. So maybe either Gia here, that'll do this. My Genesis 9 geometry follows. That's perfect. Or I'm going to use Nineveh. Maybe I'll use, maybe I'll use her. Maybe I'll use Nineveh. Or I'm going to use Keiko or any character that you want to that you want to convert. Maybe I will actually use Keiko, then we'll stick with that example and I can show you the trick with the eye morph later. So with that morph dialed in, I can now go and select my Genesis 9 figure. That's important. And I'll go and export that out. So file export and I'll call this one Keiko G9. Same as before. Hit accept and that is that. Now we can go and just like before, go and import this into my Genesis 9 figure, and then we have a working morph. Let me go make everything invisible, grab a brand new Genesis 9 figure, and just complete the process here, like the one you've seen before. So I'm going to load the regular Genesis 9 figure with the eyes and the mouth, and then I'm going to go and use Morph Loader to import what we've just exported. Alrighty, select Genesis 9, head over to Edit Object Morph Loader Pro, and here we go and select the Keiko morph we've just exported, this one, Keiko G9, that's the one. I'm going to go and open that, choose your morph file. And the only thing that you should change is reverse deformations. I always set that to yes, and we have nothing else. Make unique. You can always overwrite this if you had tried this out again. That is it. Hit accept, and that should come up with a success message here. And then we can go under morphs and dial in our Keiko morph. There we go. There she is. Perfect. So just like before, I'm going to go and set this parameter dial so that it can't go into the negative. And also, of course, change back to the joint editor and make sure the skeleton lines up with our geometry. Right click on this, hit edit, and then go to adjust rigging to shape. Now, here's another thing that many of you had issues with, and uh, I haven't, but one of my viewers kindly suggested this, that if you select this option here, adjust orientation, this is kind of a 50-50 chance that things may go wrong. If you 
enable it and you find that when you move your eyes left right it may be that the body geometry goes left but the eyes actually go the other way same with up and down so you might go and dial in look up and the eyes actually go down but the geometry of the body kind of goes up and it looks totally weird and this happens when you enable this adjust orientation on some characters not on all of them some of you have experienced this on genesis 8 characters as well i haven't had that problem but if you have that issue just make sure this box is unticked so i'm going to leave that unticked and hit accept. One of my viewers was suggesting that if you do enable that and you have this issue, you can also go into the figure and select the bones for the lower eyelid and for the eyeball morphs and then set the Z rotation to zero. I haven't had any luck with that, I'm afraid. So for me, if this happens, I just go and make sure that box is not ticked and then everything is going to go fine. Next step on the agenda, make sure the ERC freeze is enabled on this slider. So right click here, head over to edit mode, right click the slider and choose ERC freeze. And with that, we're going to make sure the values are calculated on the fly. Switch out of edit mode and now, you know, things are, things are perfect. This is the Keiko morph in action. And the only thing that we need to do is fix the eyes. I'm going to do that in the next video. Just one other note on Genesis 1 characters. And maybe I will go and just show you this. If I go and make this figure invisible and just bring in another Genesis 9 dev load, just so that we're talking about Genesis 1 as well. Load a new figure in here. So even though we do have a Genesis 1 fit clone in the Genesis 9 figure, if you were to try to bring in Genesis one character. So let me just go and do that here. Genesis 1, uh, this is the androgynous first unified figure shape here. That also has the T-poles, but it has a few other issues here. So if I go and select my new Genesis 9 figure and head over to parameters, back into my hidden clone section, we do have a Genesis 1 fit clone here. So if I left click and drag that up, then I can see that the body matches up perfectly, but the rest of the arms and the legs, they don't work so well. And the problem with that is that even though you can try to make adjustments on the Genesis 1 donor figure so that it matches the Genesis 9 figure, just like we did with Genesis 2, it's a real, real issue to get that to line up perfectly right. So you can go, and uh, I'll, I'll just show you this. If we have the left shoulder, we could set this to minus 45, and then we could go try to do the forearm as well and it doesn't just need the bend it also needs a bit of adjustment here so i believe that is uh, six here nope that isn't correct was it four was it three i don't remember yeah there we go so it needs uh, both a bend and a front back adjustment and then you have the same thing on the lower arm and when you figured the forearm out here which i think also has a twist on it and doesn't it I think so, yeah. So this is, I think this is eight. So it's like, it's a ton of work to adjust this. And when you've done that, then you have the figures. And to be really honest, life is just way too short to figure this out. So the easier way to get Genesis 1 characters converted is to load the Genesis 1 and the 2 figure and go from 1 to 2 with the same fit suit method because they line up perfectly. So you have much less work. And then go from 2 to 9 because that's just, you know, that's just so much easier to deal with than trying to go from one directly to nine. If you do have the correct formula to do this, then do please let me and everyone else know, and then I'll go and pin your comment to this video in case somebody is interested in that. So yeah, that is my advice for Genesis 1 conversions. Just go from one to two, and then go from two to nine. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to deal with the eyeball morphs and the teeth. That's kind of the same idea, and I hope I will see you for that. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.